Hello and welcome to the Opera Unite review. Today I will be reviewing uh, the Opera 1060, uh, its current version. Uh, this is July 2010, and we will be demonstrating what Opera Unite is. Now, a lot of people were confused what Opera Unite has the capabilities of, and not too many people were interested in what Opera Unite has to offer. But what you're looking here is share 10 gigabytes of photos in 10 seconds, stream music from your own computer. What this basically is telling you is that you can run your own web server off your computer. So for example, you want to share music with your friends and uh, instead of uploading the music from your email, uh, and send it off via email you're wasting time uploading or even um, uploading it to an online service such as box.net or Dropbox and then send it over there instead you can instantly share music with your friends uh, through this uh, Opera browser so I'll be showing a demonstration over here uh, is a little icon this is the button for Opera Unite and when you click on it, uh, it would say to enable Opera Unite. Already mine is enabled. Now, we have these panels here, which will show the Opera Unite menu. We have uh, the default file sharing, the fridge, media player, messenger, photo sharing, and web server. I'm going to guide you to the music player so you know what we're talking about. I'm going to double click on music player and it's going to open up a page fairly fast. Now, this right here is all the songs that are on my computer that I've just shared with everybody else instantly. It was very easy. Uh, when you first uh, initiate it, it will ask you to log in and you can create an account with Opera if you don't have one and you'll be able to get started there. It is a very simple setup and once you finish logging in, then it will I click here, it would ask you to select the source of the folder. So I would just choose the source of the folder. Right now I already have a, a music folder selected here, so I'm going to go ahead and cancel this. And automatically, instantly, all the files are showing up and anybody can navigate and start listening. So for you as an administrator, what privileges do you have? On the right hand side, you have a sharing with the URL. You can share via email, Facebook, Twitter, and Dig, or Delicious. Um, you also have privacy options for the media player. You can have it password protected, so you can privately share it with your friends uh, with a password, or you can allow anybody to visit the media player. Now, you do have to keep your computer on in order for it to uh, show the, 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 uh, the files since you are running your own server. So, example, I'm going to click on an album. I'm going to click on subdirectly. And then all the user has to do is press, pardon for the video, press play, and it immediately starts streaming from your computer to theirs. It does it very, very quickly. And if they want to have the music, all they have to do is right click it. And they can save link content as or save to the downloads folder. They can easily do this uh, with any browser. They can save link as and they will be able to uh, have the music on their hard drive. Now, this also allows you to connect a web server. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Now, this is the web server that. I have already initiated the files here. These are simple HTML files and I'm going to be using this for demonstration purposes. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to copy the location of that uh, website and I'm going to start private browsing and I'm just going to paste and go. Mine is password protected so give me a second. I'm sorry. There you go. So, 
uh, if this was a public web server, immediately when you go to that link, you'll be pushed over to your own personal website. And the links work. Uh, right now, this is the only link that works with the privacy and give you the privacy records, or you can just go to the home page. Now, this is a fully functional website that you can publish from your own website. You make either in iWeb for Mac, front page. So you run your own web server, and you don't have to pay for uh, how technically we call it middlemen to hold your website in their servers. So that's a demonstration of a website on a web server. We are going to, and if you want to stop an activity, you just right click the activity and press stop, or you click and you can press stop or start. Um, you also may add more applications. So you can add stuff like streaming media, uh, task manager, web proxy. You can create your own proxy server. Um, media player, as we have here, they have file sharing, photo editing. They have a lot of neat stuff here. Um, and Opera Unite is basically a system where you can share your files with anyone in the world uh, just using your web browser. And yes, you would have to keep your browser up. Now, if you don't want to have this browser open, you can always close the browser. And it'll ask you, would you like to uh, keep, really exit out of Opera, or would you like to minimize it to the taskbar? And you'll click on Minimize, and you can click on Remember, so that every time you start Opera, it will start up Opera Unite. You can exit the browser, and that also allows you to boot up the browser quickly. And it uh, definitely your own personal server for free. Uh, this is a free browser, and the server is free. The only thing that you have to worry about is your bandwidth. So if you have limited bandwidth, you would have to get unlimited bandwidth. And depending on your service provider, you would be able to have uh, the upstreams and downstreams. So this is a definite opportunity for everybody to share their files. And uh, as they say, share uh, photos, uh, 10 gigabytes of photos within 10 seconds, it will allow you to do that. So this is the easiest and the fastest way to store your files. All this is is a, is a front door to your computer, uh, very secure, very safe, and they have access to only the files you choose. So this is my video review of Opera Unite with Opera 1060.